Hey guys, it's, I mean, this video is going to be a review on the CCKW M2A1, um, I guess you can say it's a half track, but it's a truck, and the 105mm howitzer battery, and the other stuff on it. Um, anyway, <coughs> uh, it came with, like, well, if you buy a big radio kit, you already know what it comes with. The instructions or a certificate, and that's about it. Sometimes you get, like, a brochure type of thing, but that's kind of rare. So, let's see what you get. Sorry, again, my light is, like, one of my lights is broken, so try to fix, fix that. You get two shells. One's, one that has a black tip, one has a gray. And you get two American minifigs. It, one comes with a M1 carbine or carbine. And I don't know what the other one comes with. Because mine came with a Car 98K, which is German. So maybe that was just a minor mistake. I don't know. But it comes with these nice vests from. What is it? I don't know. I think MMCB. See what the candy bee. Can, candy bee was from there too. But these are different than the ones I got from Dan. And some of my other kits. So you get two of those. And there's the other one. Sorry for my quality. I just record everything on my iPhone because it's so much easier. And, you know, I have to buy memory, you know, for my video camera. Anyway, so this is the howitzer. It was kind of hard to build because everything's, like, falling apart. But, I mean, it was easy, but it was hard at the same time. If you know what I mean. So here's the back. No, why that's why, but that's what it came with, and this can go up and down. You just have to be careful because sometimes it like falls apart. And then, see what I mean? It yeah, it, basically it falls apart. But you know, it was a hard design, but it was the only way Dan can make it. Well, not these two hands on this. So, I gave him credit. And this was one of my favorite kits that I've ever built. Um, I really actually recommend getting this. If you don't have, like, a truck or a vehicle for your Americans, or you just collect, I would collect this. Because these, because he has to, like, ask for custom-made canopies and stuff, which are kind of hard for him to make. So there's only a couple out, and I'm surprised I actually got this, so... All right, let's get on the vehicle. So it has this, uh, I don't even know what it's called, like a motor pool or something. Um, it has like a chain, I guess. And you have to put the chain together. It doesn't tell you how, but you can just figure it out. It's kind of hard for me, but I get used to it. And the hood right here, I love the hood. I really do. I like the design on it and everything. One of my favorite parts in this. And the sides. So let's just go a 360 rotation. And to put on the canopy, it doesn't tell you how, but it's pretty basic, really. Um, what you do is... Hold on. Okay, so then this opens up. And then the flap opens, and there's some minifigs that I've supplied. And... Well, if you can see, there's support beams. There's three of them, and uh, what you do is you put these in little holes because they have holes in them, and oh, let me take one off for you. I'm going to have to use two hands. I really should get more lights because that would really make things easier. So as you can see, there's a hole that you put it through, and then you just put this piece on. It doesn't tell you how, it just tells you to put the pieces on, but it doesn't show a canopy. It doesn't tell you about the canopy. Oh, I broke it. Oh, well. Um, but it's, it's pretty, pretty basic, actually. It's nothing super hard. I'll have to fix this. Oh, I'm sorry. But it is kind of fragile on the uh, support beams. So just watch out for that. And, um, what 
else I got for Christmas. This is all the Lego stuff I got. And, uh... Ah, crap. Ah, uh, I hate when I do things wrong. Um... Anyway, so I got a lot of... If you guys don't know, I'm a really huge gamer. Like, in my spare time, I, I either do Legos or I do video games. And what I do is I play Battlefield 3 a lot. My gamer tags, Irritated Panda. Me and my brother play it at the same time, so, you know. And we play a lot of Battlefield. We play Call of Duty, um, Mon Mon Medal of Honor, um... And my favorite game series that we, me and him, my brother, play is Assassin's Creed. And we, we got the fifth one, or fifth one, the third one, um, AC3. And I almost beat the whole game. Like, like I almost did everything the whole game. I have, like, 99% my, some not my sink, my sink's like 88, but I'm almost done with it. But I haven't played in a while. Play Skyrim and all those. So I got the book, a phone case, and I got stickers for my Assassin's Creed 3 stickers for my uh, Xbox, and then I have, oh yeah, I bought that poster, and I have the AC3 flag, and I think that's it for Assassin's Creed 3. And, and I got my brother the tomahawk, so it's at where I have like a huge collection. Anyway, not that was not Legos, so back to this. Um, the tire goes down there; it kind of comes off easily. Uh, oh yeah, I was missing like three pe three to five pieces, and I had to supply that with my own. But it was took me like an hour to find them because I'm running out of pieces. That was disappointing, but I forgive Dan and his crew because he has to make a bunch of kits and many others, and he has to like you know get all the pieces. And I know it's like stressful and stuff for him, so I give him I give him slack. It's okay. Um, so just be sorry, just be prepared for that. Um, you know if that happens. Uh, this inside you can fit. Well, you can fit three, six people. You can probably fit eight. I've tried, and it's super hard. I mean, with weapons, it is hard. And I recommend, before you put on the canopy, if you want to put your own minifigs in here, do it before you put on the canopy, because it's a pain. So let's get on with this. You can barely fit two minifigs in there. You see their hands. And, uh... can I say? Oh yeah, there's no like, um, there's no steering wheel or stick shift or anything. You can put a stick shift in, but yeah, you, you can only use like one minifig for it then. Um, that's actually about it, but this is actually my, one of my favorite kits. I actually enjoyed building. Um, as you can see my other collections, I have all that stuff. The one other one I liked from Rickmania was the Greyhound and the, um, the, the Stug 3. The Stug 3 was really cool to build, but I really liked this because of the canopy. So I recommend getting this if you're just a collector, get this because it's actually really cool. And it's cheaper than the, uh, the Vietnam one. I don't know what it's called. But it's basically the same, just a little bit different, because it's Vietnam. But and it's like two hundred and twenty dollars. I recommend, totally recommend getting this for a cheaper price, and good quality, and it looks good. So now I have one from County Brick Mania. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven boxes that I kept, and I have twelve kits in all, because I have the really old Willie's Jeep from like two thousand nine. That I didn't keep the box. So, yeah. I have 11 now. It's a big collection for me. Um, future kits. I might not buy anything else um, from Brickmania for a while. Because the only thing I want is the half track. But I already have one. And that will like, make a lot of American vehicles. But, uh, 
I want to get a Churchill from a mechanized brick because that, like that's like my favorite tank of all time, and um, a Opel Blitz truck for from Brick Brigade, and that's like one hundred and fifteen dollars. So I'm totally thinking about getting that because if you noticed <sighs> my Opel Blitz truck. Hold on, I'm grabbing it. So, it's crap. It's terrible. As you can see, the only thing I like about it is the back in this part. But other than that, I hate it. I really do. It's not a bad, it's not a good Opel truck. It doesn't have a canopy. But if you look the look up the Opel truck from Brick Brigade, it's really cool. And it's actually a really good price. I might buy that. But anyway, so thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to, if you play Battlefield or maybe Call of Duty, I might play Call of Duty every once in a while. I always play Battlefield online. My my gamer tag is Irritated Panda. Um, we might change it to Enchanted Bunnies from Big Bang. I love that show. Anyway, so thank you guys for watching um, this long interview. Interview. I meant review, sorry. Um, comment, subscribe, like, dislike if you hate this video. Um, I don't really care. But everything everything helps. And ask questions, give me advice. I always I always reply to my comments unless it's some stupid comment like your vid sucks. Like what else, what am I supposed to say? I'm like, oh I'm sorry. Or whatever. But anyway, so, you know, um, like my last video that I didn't post yet, um, I'm gonna be, oh yeah, I'm gonna be posting the reviews on the, um, mystery packs, so look on that, and, um, yeah, that's about it, actually. Um, I haven't, I'm probably not gonna make any new LEGO videos for a while, so yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later, have a good day in a week. And enjoy your Christmas break like I am, because I have to go back to school soon. And by the way, I'm gonna be busy soon because I've I've been doing basketball, a lot of games because I'm a sports person. And if you guys don't know, I do like.